I don't ah. remember how to do a good intro. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to the podcast. What episode is it? For... D3? 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, yeah, we're all out of sorts. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my goodness, uh, wow. There's your sorts. <laughs> uh, uh, we had an off week just because yeah. we're stupid, but I think yeah. it was a, uh, a good thing because a lot of news happened. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I, I was waiting for some news <laughs> big news day let's celebrate let's just get into it the let's best right news it. is news. rush limbaugh's day that's that's the obama <laughs> is dead dancing crabs music you've seen that right oh i know the dancing crabs. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude oh man i could Rip. not wish Rest there's so penis. many there, there's so many like scumbags. I would be so pleased to die. And <laughs> Rush Limbaugh was—he was up there. So yeah. you know what? Uh, ha uh, ha having God. a mother who listened to him religiously, I, I can know. say that he was a piece of shit. <laughs> he is a massive. Uh, literally piece every of episode, it was just him lying. <laughs> <laughs> and just hate yeah. and anger uh -huh. yeah. uh, like it's like dude it's like that that shit uh, you know how like that that conservative actress on the mandalorian oh, yeah. you know got canceled because yeah. she had conservative views Cancel. but your consider your conservative views are really just racist rhetoric yeah. like that's not conservative views and yeah. Rush Limbaugh was like the proprietor of shit like that. Like he ushered in all of that. Rush yeah. Limbaugh got canceled. Thank God. Off canceled of life. by the grave. <laughs> and it's, it's so fucking funny that he died from fucking lung cancer when he was just like, just chomped on fucking cigars his whole life. Just like, right. <laughs> and there's like a clip of him going on this insane tangent of like. Of like blaming the Native Americans for like tobacco addiction because they like mm. invented smoking tobacco or something. I, I don't know. The it's the Native Americans' that. fault I'm smoking this cigarette. Yeah. Um. I was watching some uh, run-of-the-mill centrist like news station like cover his death, and. And they like quoted someone from Fox News saying that Rush Limbaugh will be ir irreplaceable, and I was just like, "Good, good." <laughs> I mean, you're right. Like, no one can replace him. <laughs> Let's hope no one ever does. Yeah, well, that's uh, you know, Rush Limbaugh's taken out. Bill O'Reilly was taken out a while ago because uh, of whatever happened. He was like caught cheating or for the fifth yeah. time or something. Oh, hold on, I have to answer the phone. Uh -oh. hey, you go off, Queen. Hello? Uh, I don't know what we got here. Yeah, I'm podcasting a, currently. I'm currently... Uh, <laughs> kind, of, kind of a inglorious bastards type Ooh, situation. Ooh, Carlos Jr.? Yo, give me, um... Just, give uh, me, uh, uh, uh the, 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 the Western bacon, out, whatever it is. Take they're, them. They're what? Yeah, double. And, uh, some fries. the Republicans <laughs> one by one. That's all I want. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Oh wait, no. Bye. <laughs> hey, you do love me. Yeah, <laughs> Go take it back. It's I true. need all the love. <laughs> um Damn. Yo, Jenny's keep picking up Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Am I allowed to make a restaurant Carl called Carl's Senior? Mm-hmm. Oh cool. Under parody law, anything's possible. <laughs> You've you watched Nathan for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make stupid Carl's Jr. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite thing in the world. That fucking. Uh, well, shit. 
Remember, uh, wait, did we have did we podcast since the GameStop thing? No, I think the last episode uh, we were talking I about. I think, it a bit. yeah, I think we briefly mentioned how we don't really know what that's about yeah. or care that much. But related to Nathan, for you, I saw a hilarious tweet that was like, I can't explain it, but somehow I think he's behind it. And it was just a <laughs> picture of Nathan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I believe that. <laughs> like, watch in like a year, there's gonna be a new season of Nathan for oh you. God. It's gonna be like, GameStop is a failing company. So I <laughs> went to them. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's out there giving really. us Nathan's a good name. He really uh, is. Nathan's were really fucked before Nathan yeah. Fielder. Yeah, and we had to deal with that Nathan Fillion prick. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope cringe. He goes out the same way Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I have nothing bad to say about Nathan Fillion, unless he secretly no, yeah. is a piece of shit. Actually, in which case that wasn't mm -hmm. a joke. I don't think he is. I think he's <laughs> actually like one of those guys. It's like a good a good dude. I think an actual real good guy. Um. Speaking about the opposite of good guys, mm -hmm. Ted Cruz today. Did you oh, have yeah. you seen? <laughs> he, he zipped on out of here. <laughs> like yo, yeah. Well, let's yeah, Texas right now, uh. and like um, uh, the entire middle, middle south kind of of America, mm. giant fucking cold snap that is just like literally killing people because yeah, our country's whole... infrastructure is not meant to deal with. Yeah. Weather catastrophes. So, somehow, in a first world country, uh, yeah, a huge portion different. of the country is freezing to death. But yeah, <laughs> and uh, the governor yeah, that's has it, fled. It, yeah, this shit. This shit happens like every day, and like you know, the fucking mi Middle East and like Eastern Europe. Like, dude, rolling blackouts, like burning your belongings and freezing temperatures. Like, that. Yeah. America is not a first world country. What a fucking joke. Yeah. I mean, it, as of late, it's certainly not felt that yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, but Ted Cruz just fucking outied. He's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go to fucking Cancun. Did you see that he blamed his trip on his daughters? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah throw them the daughters the that head. like the butter. Remember <laughs> yeah. that meme of <laughs> My daughter would love this. Well, I, re I really wanted to stay, but my daughter is... There's a big butter convention going on in Cancun. They, co they couldn't wait. <laughs> the butter convention. <laughs> Buttercon 2021. Yeah, I'd wear a t-shirt with that. Um... <laughs> uh... Let's see. Yeah, a lot of a lot of things actually have kind of happened these last few weeks. Um, well, the Nintendo Direct yesterday was a fucking mess. Uh, I I I saw like a screen cap of some Smash characters I didn't recognize. But they got them titties. They do got them titties, though. <laughs> yeah, they're from fucking Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles. I I literally only know that title and nothing else about that franchise. Yeah, I know. I only knew about it because when this Smash came yeah. out, one of the main roster characters was from it, and I was Isn't like, there okay. A game called Xeno Clash. Xeno Clash. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it, Xeno that's Clash. That's an old game. I used to play that. Xeno Clash. I want to play this game so bad. It's fucking bonkers. I, I, I still have it on Steam. It was hard. It was Zeno really difficult. Clash. I watched Oni plays play. A bunch of That's fucked funny. up, weird yeah. looking bird people and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only Xeno I know. Yeah. What about Xenomorphs? I know Xenomorphs also. Yeah. Yeah. You know Gorga. Do I know Gorga? Wait, Gorga? Golga? What's the name of that Godzilla monster that I said looks like a xenomorph? Golga? Gol Kringus? There's no Golga, there's no Kringus. What, what is the one you just drew and posted on Twitter like a few Orga. days ago? Orga. Orga! Oh, come on, that was close. Come on, okay. you should've got it. The G <laughs> confused me! <laughs> <laughs> 
I the way you drew it and the lighting of it really reminded me of like mm. I think the way you've drawn you've drawn a xenomorph I before, have. haven't you? I yeah. have. It it's really, on my it really new grounds. Me yeah. Which is a it's a cool thing. I like the idea of Gorgonzola looking like a xenomorph. Mm. Yeah. He do be kind of a xenomorph himself. He is an alien who he do morphs. be an alien. Morph. Yeah, anyways, the Nintendo Direct uh, kind of sucked. Like, literally every other game was, like, an anime RPG. Mm. Um, Ooh. But Fall Guys is coming to Switch. So that's oh, cool. Shit. Honestly, I'm uh, surprised it's not on there already. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. It's a very Switchy game. No, apparently the Switchy games are fucking anime mm. RPGs. <laughs> uh, all the, um, there's all gonna the be, Switch games there's, are AFK Arena. Yeah. There's going to be a new um, Mario Golf. Mario Golf. Actually, actually looks fun. I might want to cop it. Has there been I've Mario had Golf before? Yeah, there was one in like 2003 or something. It's been a while. But, I mean, I have a lot of fun on golf with friends, so, like, I, I feel like I could have fun with Mario Golf. Mario like, Golf with your like friends. Mario, Mar random Mario sports games that aren't kart, because I don't like racing games. But, like, Mario Tennis, it's fucking lit. Um, I really need a good racing game on Steam. I don't have any. Hmm. I need something like, like Burnout. Do they got any Burnouts on Steam? Probably. Then they may. There's like a shit ton in the franchise, aren't there? There's gotta be. Some... Oh, I think they have Burnout Paradise. <laughs> oh. Just play Burnout, GTA and Burnout just Paradise. Try it around. Drift. In GTA. What the fuck is Burnout Drift? This looks disappointing. Are you a drift master? Prove your skills in Burnout Drift. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a real Burnout game. Are they allowed to do this? Call their game Burnout? Sure. It's parody law. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we made the game bad on purpose to make fun of Burnout. Nice. Did you, did you play? I play. The only racing games I really played back in the day was Need for Speed. I played one of those. You know yeah. what? Yeah, it's a racing. It counts as a racing game. But, like, I never hear about it. It's uh, fucking, um, Downhill Domination for the PlayStation 2. It was like... That sounds cool. Yeah, you mountain bike down a, a mountain, and it, it's a lot like SSX. You do, like, tricks and stuff, but it's a mm -hmm. race. I thought that game was fucking awesome. I played the shit out of that. It was really fun. You ever play uh, War of the Monsters? That kaiju War game for PlayStation 2? I think I've played you, that with you, I you, think. You can unlock fucking Kineticlops from that game as a racer on Tunnel Domination. Uh, fucking sick. You can ride a llama. I thought that was pretty epic and random as a kid, so I loved that. Mm, epic random. Yeah, that was a cool, it was a cool game. Uh, you know what else is a cool game? What's a cool game? Fuck it, I'll say it. Hades. Oh, <laughs> shit. I still haven't played Hades. I want to play that game so bad. Dude, it's so good. I, I definitely have, like, over 100 hours in it at this point. And there's literally still, like, new dialogue. Oh, fuck. Like, it's, it, it's such a well-made game. It blows, it blows my ass up. It blows my ass. <laughs> Whatever goes on sale, I'll, pro I'll fucking get that bitch. They're making a physical copy of it finally, because at mm. first it, no one no one knew it was gonna be so big, and so it was just like, you know, an online store purchase. But then everyone loved it, so they're finally making a physical yeah, copy. Now of that it. GameStop's coming back, they can yeah <laughs> sell it in a GameStop. Dude, Jimmy and I went to Northtown Mall a few weeks ago, and we popped in GameStop and. GameStop was fucking bleak. There's like oh nothing God. in there. Oh, and then speaking about malls, and then like a week later, we went to uh, the Spokane Valley Mall, and I was really excited to go to the Spokane Valley Mall because 
um, as I've lamented on the podcast, the Orange Julius that I grew up going to in the Northtown Mall went out of business. Rest and I'm peace. like, and I checked online like months ago, and it said that the one at the Spokane Valley Mall was still open. But um, we get to the Spokane Valley Mall, and that one's fucking boarded up. Oh. No. Along with the Long John Silver, no, uh, uh, Ivers, yeah, fuck Long mm. John Silver's. Ivers is the superior seafood. Wait, uh, that was also closed. We have a fucking Ivers. We did. Ivers used to be in malls here, because it's it's based out of Seattle. I don't know and it's how like I never place. knew about that. I've eaten at the one in Seattle. Ivers is so good, but um, there was one at the Spokane Valley Mall. There used to be one in Northtown too, but um. Yeah, I, I like lost. I'm losing my shit about Orange Julius. Like, I, uh, I can't describe to you or anyone how much I loved Orange Julius, and it's it got taken from me. This is what they took from you. Taken out in its prime. But and the thing is, like, I didn't even know they were closing. Like, I never got to have like, this is gonna be my last Orange Julius. It was just like gone. See you later. Damn. And like. I mean, there's so many things, like, I've seen from other people, like, saying, like, oh, man, like, I can't believe this is gone, like, oh, hi see Ecto Cooler, I wish that would come back, I miss it, oh, Dunkaroos, I miss it, but, like, I never thought it would happen to me, you know? Mm. I thought Orange Julius would, like, transcend time, but I don't think there's anything else that, like, could go out of business or, like, a brand that goes under that I would care about as much as Orange Julius. Damn. <sighs> If I won the lottery, I would spend all my money to resurrect Orange Julius. That is what I would do. Hell yeah. Do you care about a franchise as much as I care about Orange Julius? Um, I don't know. <laughs> not not like that. I don't. Maybe like a video game company or something. Like yeah. if Oddworld Inhabitants went down, I'd be bummed yeah. but you don't have you don't have like like a ride or die restaurant like a fast food chain or something mm. besides arby's besides arby's no, no. <laughs> well, i know you you fucking love wendy's and burger king but like those things are too big to fail i don't i don't even like burger king very much i'm a wendy's like i'm a wendy's king. stan yeah, i know you're a wendy's stan. <laughs> i thought you liked burger king equally nah it's Wendy's or die. To be honest, I don't even really care about Wendy's that much. No, I, I know. I'm, you don't, I'm but... passionate about Five Guys when it comes to burgers. Yeah. If, if See, Five Guys five went guys, out. Five Guys is kind of low key. Like, I would be scared for Five Guys. Yeah. But... Five Guys. Uh, but, like, I don't know. We're trending. We're trending up out of COVID, you know, but. It still doesn't mean fucking anything. Yeah. I've I've heard I've heard people talk And it about... already took our Julius, I mean come on. <laughs> <laughs> I already heard people talking about another strain appearing. So well, yeah. I'm hoping we don't have fucking lockdown two electric boogaloo. <laughs> you mean a continuation of <laughs> Yeah, lockdown. in our case a continuation <laughs> because we couldn't we d yeah. we couldn't do shit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Spokane's in phase two again. Phase two. Whatever, see what it that doesn't means, mean. Anything. It doesn't uh, mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Iron Man 3 is coming out, and like, uh. Black Iron Man 3, 3 already came out, and it was much better than <laughs> Iron Man 2. You know, everybody says they don't like Iron Man 3, but I've seen some clips from it, and I'm like, this looks fun. I liked Iron Man 3. Like, I, I saw, like, some fight scenes where he, like, just has, like, the gauntlet, and I'm like, this is creative yeah, yeah. and fun use of the Iron Man suit. No, I actually, like, I mean, you know I've, like, watched all the Marvel movies, begrudgingly. <laughs> um, now I have fun with them, but uh, I, I really liked Iron Man 3. I think it really, like, hand, it, like... It had a surprisingly like real take on like P P uh, PTSD. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I think it's really good. Yeah. Uh, Iron Man Two, on the other hand, a complete meme. Uh, and Iron Man One was fucking kick ass, except for, um, <laughs> what's what's the name of uh, Jeff Bridges? Jeff his Bridges. fucking 
bad guy character ah god when he um when he like gets the like big suit and is like in it like they did this weird editing choice where like you can hear him like groaning when he like moves the suit because it's big oh. and large because they have to give you yeah it's like oh. uh, uh, but it's like that doesn't make any sense why would he do that <laughs> it's mm. It makes sense as like a movie sound production, but like if you think about it, it's kind of weird. Oh, Iron Man. Oh. It's like why? Because you can. Why would? Why would his <laughs> mic in that suit always be on? <laughs> and, and so, so like who he's fighting can hear him be like. Oh. You can hear him fart outside of. <laughs> <laughs> Big echoey. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Nathan says hi. Unplug, unplug. What? No, never mind. Well, he can hear you. All he, all he said was hi. Hello. Oh, wait, then he said hello, hello. Or was that you? I'm already confused. Uh. Yeah, my mom. My mom had a, a pris, uh, Christmas present, a birthday present. A Christmas present. Uh, uh, I thought you were gonna say your mom had an Iron Man suit. My mom bought me an Iron Man suit for my birthday. Well, the size of this box. <gasps> you didn't read the size. I read the size. Oh, okay. So I think it's just chairs. Well, Iron Man keeps his suit in a hoodie yeah. now, so maybe one. could be. I don't know, but I got home and there's just this giant fucking box. From my mom and she was texting me all day like did you get your package did you get your package and like open the box open the box yeah. yeah but um i won't i won't open it until my birthday my birthday mm. is next tuesday next? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. damn yeah 28 i don't know uh i would love to have a little hangout in person if you want that would cheer me up Sure, I'd do that. I'd break quarantine. We're in phase two, after all. Yeah, we're in phase two. It's not even breaking at this point. <laughs> Wait, is there ranch? I don't even know what phase two means. Um, it just means... Thank you. It just means... I, 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 the looser, looser, more people can be in places, mm. I think. More people, more places. Papa John's. Nice. Boom. Papa John. Papa John. It's Baba Jones. Mm. Wow, we missed Valentine's. We didn't really. I, we didn't have a Valentine's uh, episode. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I streamed on Valentine's Day. That's kind of a podcast episode. You can still yeah. see the vod at this point. I'm pretty sure. So catch it quick if you want the secret Valentine's Day mm. episode. Mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about Valentine's though. Valentine's. Um, because I, you know, I've, I'm in the seasonal. I'm the seasonal guy at Target, and so you know, I was stack, uh, stalking all the Valentines. And I was like, trying. I was like remembering like what Valentines I gave out when I was going you know, elementary school. Uh huh. And so I, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, what kind of Valentines you gave out? Uh. <sighs> I don't know, I just kind of, I, I think we just got like, fucking, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't even remember. I guess there, I remember there being like generic little types of cards, or was it, or was that included like in candy? I can't even remember. If, I might have just fucking handed out like little lollipops said Valentine's Day from two on them. See, my mom definitely always let us pick out like the branded like boxes. You know, it mm -hmm. came with like a set number of like a style, and then there were like different ones. I distinctly remember one year I got some kick-ass Jurassic Park ones. Um, damn. They're like this weird style of like it was like between movies. And they're still like trying to keep it popular, so it had all these like bright neon colors Ooh. and dinosaurs. Oh, I remember shit. I had like a lot of coloring books in that style too of Jurassic Park. It was tight. Got the cool dinos on there. 
but that's that's all i remember but i remember that because I, there's you know there's like still jurassic world valentine mm. so that's like that's cool jurassic park franchise lives on hmm I watched a cool YouTube video about the history of the Jurassic Park toys. Mm. It was pretty Aww. cool. I I still have a mini collection of some Jurassic Park toys that were really cool. They were called um, the Chaos Effect. Whoa! Like, have I ever shown you those? Oh, dude, you do you think these are so cool? You should type it in Jurassic Park Chaos Effect. Life um, finds a way. Um, the, the, the premise was that, like, they, they experimented with, like, the DNA even more and, like, made, like, hybrid dinosaurs. Uh, hybrid dinos. Yeah. This is how they no, got, uh, fuck, that's how they got, uh, whatever's in the new movie. Indominus Rex! Indominus Rex! Yeah, look at these dinos. They're popping off. I pretty much had all of them. Well, I have all of them. Besides, there's like a giant T Rex, and then the Ultimosaurus was like Ultimus a really Saurus. big, expensive one that I never got. It then the Ultimosaurus was fucking cool. It's got like a Triceratops head with sharp teeth, and there's some really cool ones. The the Velociraptorx was one of my favorites. Velociraptorx, I see a I see a picture of a Velociraptorx. And the the Par Paradinonychus was that I love that one a lot. Paralobagalus. Whoa. There's Ultrasaurus. Oh, yeah. yeah, Ultrasaurus is like, dude, that's like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Why are you sitting on the floor eating? Oh, <laughs> I'm podcasting. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you for bringing me Carl's Jr. Into my face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Epic podcast moment. Mm. Someone clip this. Paradinus. Dynic. Paradinic. Par I can't par say any of these things. Yeah. What are these? Uh, yeah, they're kind of cool toys, but apparently, like, there are lots of like, like prototype ones that, like, mm -hmm. I don't think ever like made it to the market, and like, lots of bootlegs and stuff that like people made. It was a very, it was a very popular toy line. Wow. Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm, this is a picture of a horrifying creature devouring a man. This is very gory. Where is that? I don't this see could that. not possibly be officially licensed. Oh, I see that. <laughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's like a freaking mutant, like spiky yeah, Dilophosaurus. Yeah. 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 That's fucking epic, dude. It is epic. Yeah. Oh, hot. Uh, uh. My mouth is burning. <laughs> I found a cool picture of the Jurassic Park chaos effect. Show me. Here, here it comes. It's on the way. I don't know which way it's coming. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they got That's a. Pretty... There's a lady with her feet clamped down in some Jurassic Park licensed um, feet handcuffs, so a Velociraptor <laughs> can lick her feet. Wait, did you? <laughs> You just said feet handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, feet. They would hand. just be feet cuffs. <laughs> feet, cu <laughs> feet cuffs aren't real. They're in that image. Those are feet no, cuffs. Those are feet. Those are handcuffs. You just feet. said they're not real. They're right in front of you. <laughs> no, no. Those oh are God. handcuffs made for feet. That's different. If they're, <laughs> if they're handcuffs made for feet, then they're feet cuffs. No, they, you weren't all uh, you weren't all feet cuffs made for hands, hand feet cuffs. You would just call them handcuffs. Hold up, I found something cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's sort of I'm the same get... idea, but with Charizard and a Pokemon feet cuffs. <laughs> yeah. 
Why it's Misty. Yeah, it's also Misty, by the way. I don't know who this... Is this character supposed to be somebody? This says Sarah Harding. Who's Sarah oh, yeah, Harding? Sarah is Harding that from is the, like first the movie? main... That's Laura, Laura Dern's character. Uh. Isn't it? Yeah. Wait, it's... I just typed in Sarah Harding and this is just a real person named Sarah Harding. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Jurassic Park. Isn't it? Am I... Oh, no, she's from the second one. She's, uh, like, Jeff Goldblum's oh, divorced yeah. wife or whatever. Also what, was Laura, like, what, what was Laura, 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 Laura Dern's character in I Jurassic Park? I don't remember Park. her name. Yeah, Laura Dern. Laura Where's Dern. Jurassic Park. Let's click on this. Jurassic Park. Did you know Dr. Alan Grant is partially based on Dr. Jack Horner, the real-world paleontologist? That. Jack Horner was a bit of a... He's a device, d d divisive figure in the paleo community. Did you notice the sound of the jungle of Isla Nublar fade in while the Universal Pictures logo is still on the screen? I didn't notice that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm on a website trying to figure out what Laura Dern's name is in this movie. Dude, her, I, I, did I not say it? Uh, I found it. it's oh. uh, Ellie, Ellie Sattler. Oh, Ellie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's right, yeah. I recognize that because I played the Jurassic Park Operation Genesis a lot, and you would always oh, get notifications yeah. and say, Dr. Sattler has, a notif has, a, has an email for you. <laughs> Dr. Sattler has sent you feet pics. <laughs> Help! My feet are stuck in these feet cuffs. <laughs> Get me Thank out of you. here! The Velociraptors are coming. Thank you for giving them their proper name. As Nedry steals the dinosaur embryos, we see him take Proceratosaurus, Gallimimus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, misspelled as Tyrannosaurus. It's uh, Velociraptor Stegosaurus, misspelled as Stegosaurus, Metriacanthosaurus, Triceratops, and one of which we never see the label. We know there are quite a few other species of dinosaur on the island, so where are the embryos? There are most likely other embryo cold storage units, but Nedry does not have time to collect nor storage space for, comma, them all. Also, Dodgson tells Nedry to get all 15 species off the island, but the Barbasol cold storage can looks like it can only hold 10 to 12 vials. And oh why the God. misspellings? I guess even scientists and prop masters can't get those names right. We're a bunch of fucking buffoons. Wow, that was a fun movie fact. I learned a lot. Actually, this prop doesn't match up perfectly with what one of the characters said verbatim. Damn, it's almost like no one cares. <laughs> it's almost like uh, you can shut the hell up, uh, whoever wrote this. Who wrote this? Clayton Barr. Fuck you. Hey, so have you done anything else in um, our Mesa mine? Uh, I mind some more, a uh, little bit. Uh, I, you know, I think that little strat I was trying out is good. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying a new strat where I just methodically clear every, uh, chunk down there in the mine. Yeah, but let's talk about how you only started doing that because you realized I was a better miner than you. Yeah. <laughs> Garrett found like three clumps of diamonds and I didn't find any and I was just like following my gut <laughs> and Nathan is just like building like this elaborate like method of like <laughs> alright three squares here uh, three squares there I was like you suck I am bringing home the bread in this family. Well, 
I have now surpassed your number of diamonds greatly using my new strategy. You. So who is to say who truly is the diamond master? Truly is the diamond master with the friends you made along the way. Hold up, this website I'm looking at also has the entire Scorpion King franchise all laid out here. Hmm. There's Rise of a Warrior. This is chronological order. There's Rise of a Scorpion King. Rise of a Warrior is the first one. Next comes Rise of the Acadian, the video game. Then, first the, then, then there's the Acadian Prophecy Part One and Two, the comic books by Dark Horse, and then f four, f fifth in the chronology is the original Scorpion King movie. And you know what? There's fucking uh, at least uh, there's 16 more entries in the Scorpion Kingiverse after this. <laughs> Whoa, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Me when Nathan describes the Scorpion <laughs> King universe. <laughs> uh, it's uh, whatever that British fucking guy is who looks like a actual mummy. Uh, um, with his skin digitally smoothed. Prince Harry? Sure. I don't remember. Prince Harry. I really want to watch all the Scorpion King movies. Hmm. How many Might of these fuckers there. are there? Two? Five? Then of course oh, there's the mummy. Oh, there's a Revenge of the Scorpion King novel? Whoa. A treasure hunter working for the Nazis brings the Scorpion King back from the dead? Whoa! Are the Nazis the hero in this novel? <laughs> it makes it I sound wish. that way. Winston Churchill brings a mission to the O'Connells involving the lost tomb of Cleopatra. There, there's fucking... There's four novels for the mummy? Yeah, well, Damn. there's like ten Halo novels, so I should read and review these these mummy novels. Didn't you read some of the Halo novels? Hell yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, we, uh, I recently l listened to a audio book of Contact Harvest. I was just gonna say the only one I remember by name was Harvest. Yeah, and then I also read The Fall of Reach. I tried listening to. Uh, 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 an audio book of the fall of reach, but like it sucks. Oh, good. I don't know. <laughs> it's so oh, weird. It like, yeah. like the, the story is about them, like kidnapping all the Spartan kids, but like it never represents that action as a bad thing. <laughs> like the, the novel bends over backwards to justify them kidnapping and experimenting on children and it's so weird like uh, you could you could have kept the the, <laughs> the plot the same and just like acknowledged the fact that these are morally gray characters but they're like no these guys they're good trust trust me these are the good guys <laughs> it's like covenant yeah <laughs> no, it's like it's like Bungie told the author like about the backstory of Master Chief, and like, the author just couldn't figure out how to write a novel about that. <laughs> Truly, the Master Chiefs are the friends we met along the way. Truly. Chief! Chief! Chief, my feet are locked! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Has the... anyone noticed that the magic is missing from Disney? The workers, which used to be so peppy and happy, greeting you, talking to you, now have become plane ride operators and mask police. Literally, saddens me. When we left the Magic Kingdom, only one uh, crew member told us good night. Uh, makes me so upset. This is the time these workers need to be lifting our spirits. <laughs> Lift my spirit! Mm, cater to me. Man, it's... I don't know what it is, but it's just gotten really hard 
to uh, <laughs> enjoy uh, Disneyland during the Holocaust. <laughs> okay. That's a bit of a stretch. Uh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Visiting Disneyland Hawaii during during Pearl Harbor kind of sucks. Kind of <laughs> ruined my Disneyland trip, to be honest. Oh, man. Disney World New York really sucked on 9 11. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, that's effectively what that, that post is, though. It's like. No, I know. That's just. Uh, that's this is a, this is a pandemic. Like people are not oh, excuse happy. Excuse me, a pandemic. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Do your own research. Do your own research. Jeff Bezos did coronavirus. But the lizard people weren't happy with his um uh, uh something I don't know, and they fucking that's why he died. Back. Wait, what did he? Dude, he he just stepped down as oh, yeah. the leader. Yeah, he's not know, Amazon right. anymore. Yeah. Who's the new guy? Did they follow the, the uh, like Nintendo model and hire a guy called Jimmy Amazon? <laughs> no, come on. There's a better joke there. <laughs> Amazon doesn't have characters. <laughs> okay, but um. Uh, yeah. What, um, My name is Jimmy Amazon logo. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Guess there isn't. Uh... I really want to read the rise and fall of Zango's axe, part one. I really want to read about the That's part rise of the mummy and verse. fall of Don't Mess with the Zohan. <laughs> Are there any Don't Mess with the Zohan novels? I'm typing that in. There's probably a few fanfics, I'm sure. <laughs> Novel. <laughs> Dang it, the Wikipedia page does not can include the word novel. <laughs> novel coronavirus? <gasps> you don't mess with the Zohan novel coronavirus? Yeah. It's an American action black comedy film. I don't really think there are any black, black people in <laughs> <laughs> Don't Mess With The Zohan. No, Adam Sandler plays a black guy in that movie. No, no, that's Tropic Thunder starring oh, Robert shit. Downey Jr. And that, that movie, movie kicks good. ass. I love that movie. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long time since I watched that movie. It's I like remember one of the last TV. big comedies. Yeah. Well, that, that kind of like R-rated, you know. Yeah. I remember watching that on Father's Day with my dad. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. It was fucking sick. Yeah, there it's hasn't really been any good comedy movies for a long time. Like, it was, it was Tropic Thunder, and then, like, what, what was uh, there? Like, Step Brothers, Anchorman, and Talladega Nights. Super bad. Super bad. 40 year old virgin has anything has any good comedies come out after that i mean not like the not tooth that fairy. Had, like, uh not you know that kind that like takes the the public you know eye. Yeah. i think that that kind of faded you know? yeah there's probably been a lot of good underground slammers yeah i mean god yeah i don't know they just, they just like, deep, uh, Hollywood saw like what was popular with that uh, shit and just, just ran it into the ground. Uh, and then like when all like the parody comedy movies came out, which we have talked about to death, like mm. I think that just like put the nail in the coffin, you know? Look, it's Miley Cyrus. Oh, what? I think the last movie of that era was This Is The End. Mm. With appropriately <laughs> named. True. Because that came out. What year did that come out? Because I was like at the tail end of it for sure. Yeah, yeah that came out in 2013. Like, and that yeah. era of like culturally relevant, like R rated comedies. I mean, that was like 2007 to, yeah, like 2013. In my mind. 
What was the name of the fucking alien movie where it was the the the, the, the Nick Frost in the in, end in, in the end, but it was oh, the, Paul. Wor the World's End, and that also came out in 2013. No, I think it's Paul. Isn't it called Paul? Oh yeah, Paul. <laughs> I'm typing in Paul. Wait, Wait yeah. I was also end, confusing the World's End with This Is the End. Yeah. That old yeah. one. That's why I thought about Paul is because I, I was uh, thinking about the wrong end movie. Yeah, the wrong end. The wrong end. That's uh, seventy percent on Rotten Tomatoes for Paul. Ooh, Wait, fifty-seven percent Metacritic. Let's watch uh, Paul. Yeah, yeah let's Paul. <laughs> let's also watch Ted. Yeah, Ted and Paul. That's the era yeah. of uh, just oh, giving a God, wacky I... character a dude's name. Now I'm getting time. like all these movies coming. Yeah, like, you got fucking Drillbit Taylor, dude. <laughs> that was good shit. You got oh, you got the watch. Oh God. The watch. You got uh. Extraterrestrial life movies, Galaxy Quest, Monsters vs. Aliens, Aliens in the Attic, Alien Trespass, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Home, and E.T. Dude, Evolution. Oh, no, I remember that That's one. a good movie. I haven't I watched it, but... that since I was a kid. Me. Either. All I know I is the one I mean, dude in that movie goes, Kaka, Kaka, and then in the rundown <laughs> with The Rock, he goes, Kaka, also. And I was like, what's <laughs> up with this guy going caca and all his movies? That's like Owen Wilson saying, uh, <laughs> the road lizard. <laughs> crazier than a road lizard. Oh, I'm crazier than a road lizard. <laughs> Man. I wish I was a crazy road lizard. Mm -hmm. Ro you'd have to be pretty crazy to be a road lizard. You'd have to be pretty lizard to be a... Uh, is that an Among uh, Us trash can? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been noticing Among Us and everything. I don't know, it just came up on Twitter and it gave me a little LOL. We've noticed you've been looking for Among Us content. <laughs> Did so you see you like this trash can? Did you see Internet Comment Etiquette's new video on algorithms? I did. I watched that today. <laughs> Pretty good. Very good. Algorithms do be real. They're real. They're real. They listen to you. They plan. We're all slaves to the algorithm. Algorithm? Algorithm. <clears throat> Imagine Al Gore in the Iron Man suit with a mic hooked up while he's fighting, but he's actually just like watching porn in the in the Iron Man suit while it's like on autopilot. Oh, hell. And, and 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 he's he's thrusting, and so you can hear his thrusting movements. Then then they go, eh, eh, gunk, eh. Gunk. and that's <laughs> that's the algorithm. Hell yeah. All right, animators, get to work on that one. <laughs> Come on, animators! You can. Come on, animators. <laughs> Animator, I hardly know her. Animator, like Tomator, without the T. <laughs> We're on fire today. We just keep going. <laughs> Dude, that's that's what happens when you take a little break. You know, you, you get rejuiced. So you, what happens when you take a little kratom? <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you drink this fucking jungle juice of soju, uh, mm. a ramoon soda, and some passion fruit juice. Damn. It's actually really good. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of content packed into one mixture. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a content. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's end wait, how long have we been going? It's only 48 minutes, bro. Oh my god, I was just gonna say it was in that time. Okay, wow, well, we can, let's just keep talking. No, we gotta um, get another uh, 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 topic in. At uh, least. Martin Scorzi. 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 However you score. How do you sort? It's not. Martin Sorcerer. Mar Martin Saucepan. Um, 
Did you see him coming after Marvel again and then like being like, well, probably the movies is how we regard them as content instead of like an experience. The problem and with people movies just, is like, that these uh, ones suck and mine rock. <laughs> but people are just like posting memes of like how literally all the movies he makes are like the same gangster mm. crime <laughs> films. And like, why should anyone care? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really a Scorsese. I actually, I don't even know if I've seen any of his movies, but I, I mean, I will say that he probably puts a lot more thought into the the concept behind those movies in a Marvel movie. And I do well, agree that the Marvel movies are, you know, they're kind of run in the mill, but you they're, know, they're, they're competent the they're competently made. You know, yeah. they're not they're the, the only harmful thing about them is like the monopoly Disney has as a whole, yeah, of which yeah, yeah, yeah. that's only a one part. But yeah, also like Shut up, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. He needs old man yells at cloud, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not like, I mean, I'm not like a Marvel fan by any yeah. means, but you know, I like the movie. I like, I like a movie experience. Yeah. But like, and yeah, they're all just, you know, they're they're flicks. They're they're superhero movies. But like, they do. Like I was talking about Iron Man three. Like I feel like that movie it takes a really interesting edge on. Um, Iron Man's like PTSD from like what he's done and that was like a big part of the movie and like they, they even the Marvel movies like go across genre because like the Captain America movies are like kind of like epic like spy thrillers and then like fucking like I don't know the the one Thor movie that Taika Waititi directed yeah. God bless him Taika I fucking Big love him Kitty. like that movie is fucking good. Yeah, like, I like, it stands one. on its own because he's such a good director <laughs> and <laughs> such a good vision. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate that band. I can't. I don't. I even forget the name of that band. Led That's Zeppelin. how unimportant. Yeah, fuck Led Zeppelin. That shit <laughs> you know is so what? fucking I've, boring. I've gotten shit for this before, but I don't like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> no, Led Zeppelin fucking sucks, dude. I hate that shit. It's so boring and trite. Well, the, trite? The thing trite? Is, like, a lot of their songs are literally stolen. Like, mm -hmm. not, not even like they're ripped off of stuff. Like, literally, the melodies are just copy and paste of like yeah. bands they went on tour with before they were famous. <laughs> Yeah, or they just like completely ripped off like black blues musicians like yeah. to the T. Circling back to Martin Scorsese, really the only con Mar Martin Scrotum. Oh, uh, the only content I really <laughs> the only content the only content I've absorbed from him My is he had a really good content creator is Martin Scorsese. <laughs> <laughs> good. That'll teach him. Um, he had this really cool, like, um, mini film film series on, like, blues music that mm. um, we watched in my blues program in college. And there was, like, an accompanying book with it. And it was really cool. Like, that was something he was really big into, was, like, old blues music. And mm. that's that's a little bit redeemable. But, yeah, I don't really care about you know, old man mob movies. Like, the only good mob movie is Scarface. Like, I don't give a fuck. Scarface is sick, and, like, any other mob movie is, like, I, I don't care. I think the only mob movie I've really watched is Goodfellas, and I kind of didn't I've like never it seen Goodfellas, much. so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it was kind of one of those situations, like, I, yeah, I can recognize that it's good, but yeah. I think mob movies just aren't really for me. Like, yeah. I don't really get much out of watching, like, uh, no. a guy be corrupted and gain <laughs> influence and turn into a bad guy and then, like, get his comeuppance, you know? I yeah. want to I wanna watch a character that isn't a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> what examples do you have of that now in our degraded society there are none now that the sjw's took over now every character is 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 a fucking heartless evil person such as captain marvel or <laughs> uh 
uh, Cara Dune. Uh, you're right, though. <laughs> uh. mm. Texans are sharing what it's like to be snowed in without power. Bitch, like, we grew up in northeastern Washington. <laughs> nah, I, I feel for them. Like, yeah, it's like what we grew up with, but, like, in a system that, like, just can't handle it. Like, yeah. I can't imagine what that's like. So, shouts out to uh, normal people trying to survive in Texas right now. I'm sorry that the government f fucked you. Yeah. And do you see some of the shit they're saying? Like, they're blaming, like, Texas, Texas, like, has a big sector of its energy surprisingly comes from, like, renewable sources, like, like, wind power. And they're blaming it on the, yeah. on the shortfallings of wind power. When, it, like, it's not meant to handle the cold. And it's like, dude, like, the Antarctic base stations, like, a yeah. major portion of them are wind powered. Like, <laughs> they can handle the weather. That's not it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible that the windmills in Texas aren't made for cold, but, like, also, mm. like, in that case then like it's not the windmill's fault it's like you know the windmills would be having the same problem that every other energy source would be in this situation yeah. you know yeah. assuming that's true i'm not and I'm like i don't know i'm i'm not an expert on windmills but i kind of suspect there's not a whole <laughs> lot of difference between windmills <laughs> What's the deal with the windmills? What's the deal with windmills? What's the deal? They're hey, killing all the birds. They're killing all the birds. The bald eagles, they fly into the windmills. I've What's heard the, the noise that? gives you cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Trump said that? I, I feel <laughs> that he must... No, it, no human could say that and believe that, right? It's he not must have human. been joking. That m He's a fucking I worm can't... living in a human flesh capsule. A, a real president we had could not have possibly <laughs> believed noise gives you cancer. I can't believe it. Meanwhile, Rush Limbaugh dying from lung cancer. <laughs> you live too close to a windmill. Yeah. His cigar might have been um, some of the energy used into producing it might have come from a windmill. So, oh. damn, the Wind windmills mill. put cancer into his cigar. Damn, those Native American bastards! Native American <laughs> bastards! They put cancer in there. Poisoned <laughs> Rush Limbaugh with windmill cancer. Uh, pouring out. Pouring pour, out pour. my balls on yeah, your I'm gonna grave. empty my balls onto Rush Limbaugh's grave. Got it. You know what? You know one of my favorite memes that I think about all the time, which is which is the Doom guy <laughs> in hell saying, "Where is Ronald Reagan?" <laughs> Where is Ronald Reagan? I saw an edit that was just, "Where's Rush Limbaugh?" Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, that's that's the first. That's how I learned he died. Because <laughs> I saw that meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Mm. Hell yeah, indeed. <laughs> Woo! Right, who do I want to die? I hope fucking Glenn Beck dies next. Yeah, get out of here, Glenn Beck. Our, um... Uh... God, what if Ben Shapiro just gets hit by a fucking car? <laughs> Like, that'd be fucking cool. <laughs> uh, I want I want Ben Shapiro to die like like bizarrely like by getting like trampled by horses or something. <laughs> he just takes like a vacation and just gets like like actually dies in like a scuba accident. Yeah. Or like gets I don't know. Stabbed by like, a puffer fish. Yeah, you know I was thinking about that. That almost happened to me. One of those blue jellies. In Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. 
I, <laughs> I hope Ben Shapiro gets poisoned to death by a, a pufferfish. In Minecraft! In Minecraft! <laughs> Minecraft! Minecraft! <laughs> uh, you only have to do that on YouTube videos. Well, That's I true. guess we're technically YouTube videos. I guess so. we are. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Saying I hope he gets stabbed by a pufferfish, like... That's not... Like, I can't incite a pufferfish to do that, you know? I'm just yeah. saying if nature took its course. Yeah, well, I can't <laughs> incite someone to hit Ben Shapiro with a car, you know? <laughs> it would just happen. <laughs> In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft car. Minecraft, Minecraft car. car. Minecraft car. Uh... Did you have you watched Two Mad's latest vids? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen. Wait, am I even I'm subscribed actually... to Two Mad? I gotta check that. Uh, I, the uh, one of them is good. It's like a funny vlog around LA, and he's like Minecraft car whenever he sees like one of those fucking square cars. But then I hate when he does like go into like grocery stores and just like harass people and like knock over displays now that i work in retail like it's not uh, funny yeah <laughs> it's I, don't, not... <laughs> I don't think i could handle that yeah it's and, and he does that a lot and i'm just like mm, I, I that's not it chief <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know god god bless you med well and the video he does that in is he's like promoting his new like line of merch and he made like n-word passes that look like credit cards <laughs> <laughs> and is selling so he's just like going around handing them out and it, yeah it's 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 not a good vid it made me a little a little angry not for the n-word passes that's hilarious <laughs> i hope too mad gives me the n-word pass someday dude hit him up on twitter <gasps> do you think yeah, I, I do think. Huh? Too mad? Uh, we have talked about Rush Limbaugh a lot, yeah. This is the Rush Limbaugh episode. Oh, Jenny's tried, tried to formulate a joke about Rush Limbaugh and the N-word pass. It didn't really, didn't really hit. Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Bah, pass. Uh, you know, Rush Limbaugh did a really good service to Black History Month by dying. <laughs> True. <laughs> his his death has benefited the black community in ways we can't even uh, yet quantify. Yeah. He has a really great quote about like I think either the NBA or the NFL that it's like watching. A, a group of Bloods and Crips fight each other. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he was a motherfucker, dude. Like, for real. Oh, boy. God, he sucked. Rip and piss, indeed. I heard him... I, the last thing I remember uh, overhearing from his show that I thought was ridiculous was... Uh, he was saying they're putting uh, subliminal messages in children's shows. And I was just like, this, he's the same as Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah. This is just as insane. He is. Yeah. Was. <laughs> May he endure the never dying flames of hell. That cannot be quenched with the piss I release onto his grave. True. Yeah. Well, uh, -huh. uh I don't, I, you, should we just end it's it the there? bottom of the show, it's the ladies bottom and of the show. Um, Bottom of the show, too, laddies. <laughs> is, that, is that what a Jack Septic guy says at the end of his podcast? Yeah. Does he have a podcast? No, that's what I say podcast. at the end of the podcast when I mock Jacksepticeye. Yeah, well, fuck you, Jacksepticeye. Nah, Jacksepticeye's a cool guy. Yeah, I take that back. He's no Markiplier.
<laughs> can't handle hold the hold the candle to Markiplier. Markiplier. Hey, I'm Markiplier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any closing thoughts? Any uh, final words? Next time, next time you hear from us, I'll be 28 penis, years old. Penis. What are you saying? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Same penis. That sounds like the fucking demons I hear when I go to sleep and I forget to take my medicine. <laughs> I don't. I don't hear demons when I forget to take my medicine, but my brain does vibrate at a different frequency. Mm. My eyeballs go like blah, blah, blah. All I hear at night is the sound of pussy squishing on my cock. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? <laughs> uh, goodbye, uh, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Subscribe, done. like, follow us on Patreon. See you later. Good night. Bye. Bye.